Welcome back to week 4 of Robotics for All Python class. Last week we learned about strings, lists, and input, along with the methods that are built into them. We also did conditional statements, which is going to come handy this lesson. In this week we are going to talk about if, elif, else, and while statements. Before we get started, please open up Repellent and follow along with the video. An if statement is a block of code that allows us to take a boolean, either true or false, and if that boolean is true, then it does something accordingly. It's so important to know because it allows computers like us to make decisions. Every if statement begins with if. Then you follow with the conditional statement, like true. Then is the colon, which says you're done with the conditional, and now it's time to write the instructions if true. Most of these statements we will learn today will be written in this syntax, so keep it in mind moving forward. We have written the most basic if statement. When we run this code, the computer sees that the boolean is true and will run the code. If I typed false instead, then notice that nothing happens. In place of either true or false can be conditionals. Last week we discussed how conditional statements like 5 is greater than 3 can give us a boolean value like true or false. As long as they resolve into a boolean value true or false then it will work. If you want to check multiple conditions in the same if statement you can separate each conditional with the word and or the word or instead of writing if multiple times. For example, sunny is equal to true, spring is equal to true, if sunny and spring, then print time to go outside. In this if statement, it must be both sunny and spring in order for the block to run. However, if only one of those two conditionals meets the requirements, then the code wouldn't run. If we wanted it to run if any one of those two conditions is true, then we use OR instead of AND. So say spring is false and now it won't run because both statements are not true. However, if I had OR, then it would run because sunny is still true. Moving on, an else statement is a block of code that allows us to do a different action if the if statement was false and didn't run. The else statement is an extension of the if statement on a new line. The else statement follows a little bit of a different format than the if statement. If your if statement does not run because it is false, then your else statement will run instead. For that reason, you do not need a conditional or a boolean. It is just else and a colon. In this example, 5 is greater than 3, so hello world will be printed. But if I were to switch the signs, now, it, now this evaluates to be false and the else statement will run instead. Now I'm going to go through a pretty specific way to use if else, and that's for checking if a number is even or odd. The way to do this is with module, which finds the remainder of a division problem. Any whole number, when divided by 2, will result in a remainder that is either 0 or 1. In Python, I can see that 5 modulo 2 is equal to 1. Numbers that have a remainder of 1 when divided by 2 are odd, and numbers that have a remainder of 0 when divided by 2 are even. So I'm going to ask for an input. What number would you like to use? And I'm going to check to see if my input when divided by 2, if the remainder is 0, then I declare that 
the number is even and on the contrary then the number is odd so the else will run every other case to find the odd numbers so if i give it five then it'll tell me that's odd and if i give it six then it'll tell me that it is even we can use an elif statement to add more conditions to our if statement. Elifs are the only statement that can be written multiple times in one if block to fit multiple conditions. They follow the same syntax of if because a condition needs to be checked to be true. Suppose you wanted to check the temperature to see if you will go to the park. And if, if it is 70 degrees or more, you will go. Just because it is less than 70 degrees doesn't mean you won't do anything. Maybe if it's greater than 60, then you'll jump rope instead. Maybe if it's greater than 50, you'll exercise at home. These are both places where you can use an elif statement. If none of them are true when we run the code, then we have your else where you'll stay home playing video games. In this example, the temperature is 55. It will go through the first conditional, but 55 is not greater than or equal to 70, so we will not go to the park. Then it, it will go through the first elif, where it is also not true. Finally, on the second elif, it is true that 55 is greater than 50, meaning that we will exercise at home. If all three of these conditions failed, say the temperature were 30 degrees, then the else block would execute instead. Of the three statements, if is the only mandatory statement. Elif and else are both optional. They follow the order of if first, then elif, and finally your else, as you can see in the example. Note that when they are all together, only one of them can trigger. If you wanted to check multiple things multiple times, then use either multiple if statements or use the AND and OR operators that we learned before. The while loop is a code structure that allows us to execute a piece of code repeatedly if a conditional is true. Like the three, it takes a logical statement and checks to see if it is true, but differs itself in that it keeps running the code block underneath until the statement is false. The while loop is written with similar syntax as the rest of what we've learned, with the while, then the logic, then the colon, and the indentation and code block underneath. Here is an example. In this example, the first time it happens, one is less than six, so it prints 1. i becomes 2, which is also less than 6, and 2 is printed. This happens until i is equal to 6, in which the loop stops because 6 is not less than 6. That concludes week 4 video. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you in the next class.